Uh, so we're on the road from Karangani to Maputu Special Reserve, now Maputu National Park. Uh, we're winding down towards Maputu and then we're going to cut across to the National Park itself. And then we have a whole load of treats in store for us. We're going to try out their new 4x4 route, so we have absolutely no idea what's in store for tonight. We've got some elephants here and it's the first ones of the trip in Karangani. Chilling under a tree, very hot, very cool. Just want to give a big shout out to Camera Tech and Photo Rental. Um, they've uh, kindly sponsored me a nice 150 to 600 Sigma sport lens and this beautiful bean bag. Um, for the trips, which is awesome. So just a massive shout out to them. If you want to hire a lens, get in contact with them. Early morning coffee. Barista Anderson. Is it? Huh? As long as it's not rich coffee. No, it's luckily it's, ooh, it's like too much milk. It's Jacob's. Dion, Jack. speak to me. Why are you closing the door on me, Dion? <laughs> Nia. Start my car. What are you doing, Dion? We are inflating because we're on a tar road now. So we are inflating. So we're driving a bit of tar until we get to MSR. Mick, your cruiser is dirty. I'm a dirty guy. <laughs> there was a lot of debate about the route to take from Karangani to Maputi Special Reserve because there's a number of options. We prefer to take the back roads, but it is at times faster to take the highways. Um, but Maputu is not really a great city to travel through, especially when you're in big, heavy four by four vehicles. Um, so we did a bit of each in the end. We spent the first half of the drive on the back roads, making our way down to a little village called Magud. And then we joined the tar road, navigated Moputu, which I will put my hand up to. We managed to get through without getting lost. And the last stretch to Maputu National Park was actually a breeze. We crossed the cool Maputu Bridge and then it was a brand new tar road all the way to the entrance of Maputi National Park after that. We've just arrived at Maputo Special Reserve, which is actually now uh, Maputo National Park, if I'm not mistaken. It was proclaimed very recently. We've just arrived at the gate, busy sorting out our entr pa entrance passes and whatnot. And uh, in the meantime, while Michelle is sorting that out, we're deflating our tires because it's very sandy here. So everybody's deflating. We'll see how we go. I'm really looking forward to some camping in the rustic camps. We've got one night in a camp that's got nice ablutions. That's the one at the beach, so we'll do a bit of snorkeling as well. It's going to be one of the highlights of the trip. Um, seeing some game, some elephants, and just enjoying our time here in Mozambique. Really looking forward to it. been in a, in, a, in a let's call it a restoration process um, from many years now from 2010 uh, on a terrestrial site um, the marine was proclaimed in 2009 so there's a lot of, there's been a lot of investment on the protection and the safety of the place reintroduction of game that were in the past uh, present in this area that were locally extinct so we brought back uh, pretty much close to 5,000 animals from different species. And um, with that and the protection secured, we felt that um, you know, the, the next step uh, would be investing on, on tourism, increasing our uh, visitors that has been increasing with the new road and the new bridge from, from Maputo. 
So we decided to invest on, um, on campsites, um, uh, some rustic, uh, others with, uh, like in Memben and Shinguti with uh, very, very good conditions. First, probably it's still very pristine, uh, but above all, I think uh, it's the combination of the, the terrestrial and, uh, and the marine um, together. Uh, the fact that uh, in one day you can experience the terrestrial with uh, elephants, giraffes, um, leopards, if you're lucky to see them, cheetahs that were recently introduced, and in its same day you can up on the beach. Uh, depending on the season, you can uh, have whales, dolphins, turtles laying. So it's the combination of those that you can experience in one single day in the same place. So for the four nights that we had in Maputo National Park, we started with rustic campsite number one, which is about a third of the way up the park and we had a little bit of confusion over trying to find the right road <laughs> so we had a bit of back and forth but the the drive and the road when we found it was absolutely beautiful and um, crossing through open plains quite a bit of forest a little bit of bunda bashing it kind of had everything that we were looking for from a four by four route point of view Fixing a puncture. Le puncture. Yeah, so we got a puncture on one of the side walls, so we're just plugging it. Fixing time. Fixing time. Too far. When you go out of the plains, it is just forest. It is so beautiful. Fairies live here. Yeah? at our campsite it's called a rustic campsite one and it's in the forest we are on our way in now and it looks amazing this is proper wild camping uh, lots of flies and stuff here Yay. what do you think of this campsite this is awesome we came here in the forest it's a bit of navigating but it's awesome it's really awesome. A bit of navigating. That's an understatement. <laughs> a bit of camp making. A bit of sort out trees and stuff here. We're in the campsite, but we don't quite know how we're going to get out. But that's tomorrow's problem. But what a stunning place. Very Treed, lots of trees, no animals yet, but we'll see. But the ablutions look very promising. Fireplace is right over there, so we're trying to get as close to possible as we can to the uh, amenities, in inverted commas, which is just what a stunning campsite. Very rustic. Rustic being the operative word. Very nice. The camp itself, I don't think any of us were expecting basic ablutions. Um, there was a, a pit toilet and a bucket shower, all of which were in very good repair and then a lovely boma as well. So we all set up camp there and luckily it was a bit shady under the trees. So that was 
That was much, uh, what's the word? We were very thankful for the shade after a very hot day. <laughs> and had a beautiful, beautiful night overlooking the plains in front of the Boma there. And um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for that first campsite. Very well appointed. Good morning. Morning. How did you sleep? Like a log, thank you. And you? Yeah, good. Good. What do you think of this campsite, people? It's this is awesome. Beautiful. Right? We're thankful for the shade this morning, given that it's about 40 degrees outside in the Boma, which is why we've shifted our kitchen into the shade. Um, it's awesome. The birds have been beautiful. Yellow-bellied greenbill, tinker birds. Very, very nice. I'm making Italian eggs, a firm favorite on tour, but I think uh, young Michelle has not had the, the pleasure of uh, having my Italian eggs, so Italian eggs it is. The good thing is it's quick and simple. Chopped bacon, and this is the secret ingredient. Only Woolworths, Pomodori tomatoes from Italy with herbs in the can, ready to go, flick, flick, pour it out. <sighs> do, you like a, do you want a, a soft egg or a hot egg? A uh, soft egg, please. That does look very impressive. Thank you. I'm very impressed. Get that down you. Thank you. Bon Appetit! Bon Appetit! <laughs> so we've just packed up from rustic campsite number one and we're going to continue our journey through MSR slash Maputo National Park <laughs> to rustic campsite number two. I'll show you on the map here. -da -da. So um, Maputo is up there and we drove this road, we came into the Futi gate and then Yesterday we thought we were taking this road, but in actual fact we were taking this road So we had a stunningly scenic drive all the way around and that was our campsite there rustic campsite one Now rustic campsite number two is somewhere over here um, But I think we're gonna take a game drive do this loop hopefully see all the animals marked and Have a look at this lagoon and then make our way back to campsite number two rustic campsite too and then over the next few days we'll continue up to Ponta Membeni which is right on the coast mm -hmm. that's a stunning campsite that we've stayed in previously so we wanted to revisit that and then we'll continue to rustic campsite number four down here so so also the animals there are they are they there always yeah like they they're permanently there they're actually statues <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it go in the car, then it's going to be problems. Wow. Look at that. It's a beautiful spider. It's stunning. Wow. I Just check how he camouflages. The camouflage is insane. Hey. Okay. Wow. Check it out. I a photo of it. Hey, dude. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> check his web. I know, he's trying to hold on to my car. He just likes the landy. Everything likes the landy. Roads don't get driven a lot. Bundu bashing, bundu bashing. The log mover. <laughs> why, why don't you just drive over it? What, I did. Did you? Yeah. There you go. What's his uh, Ford? Ford. That, yeah, that's it. Land Rover. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Enough seat. There's a Nyala. Hello, Nyala. Here we are. Nice and cool in there, ain't it? It is super hard getting a shot of an animal in this park. And I presume that the animals are not used to cars. 
so I gather they'll get used to cars as time goes but as soon as I grab out my long lens put it on they're gone those elephants are just see there's a zebra on our right now but when I get there they're gonna be gone it's very difficult to film them Nice family of zebras. What are we having for lunch? We're gonna have wraps with cheese and different types of ham, some puffed rice crackers, salami, salami olives. olives, fancy. Fancy. And with a view. Our route from Rustic Campsite 1 to Rustic Campsite number 2, we actually took a, a bit of a, a by route. We took the road we should have taken the day before, which ended us up at the HQ. So we connected with some of the park rangers at the HQ quickly. Before continuing on, we had a very scenic drive past one of the pans before winding our way back up towards the road for Rustic Campsite number two. And Mick had the spot of all spots for the day and actually found the route. <laughs> a very, very subtle two track leading off the main road. And for me, this was my favorite drive of the whole trip because we traveled along a ridge line. So the right hand side just opened into a vast plains. As far as the eye can see, there was hippos walking around there, zebras, reed bucks, wildebeest. It was absolutely beautiful. And then on the other side, it kind of swapped between riverine forest, um, thickets, and a lot of different vegetation, but also very undulating. So we were right up on this ridge line, sort of winding our way down towards the campsite to rustic campsite number two. two black winged stilts. I didn't know the, the name of the birds, but Michelle helped me out. And they did a little uh, mating ritual there. So the male went on the left and then on the right, and he continued to throw water on her head, looked like, and then mated with her. That was a very, very special sighting. Wow. Very different to last night. Same ablutions. Very neat, very clean. What a stunning road to you. Oh, look, best in the park today along this ridge. Beautiful roads. Tuespoor, wild, very rustic's the right word. A stunning place. I'll definitely be back here. Very, very nice. Yeah. Have you driven these roads that we drove today, Michelle? I've driven some of them. I did the lake road and part of this road until we got to the no entry sign but this ridge road is the first time that I've done that. How beautiful was that? Stunning. So so beautiful. Are you camping here? Yeah. You're gonna set up tent yeah. in the sun. Yeah, I'm very upset that I'm not flat. But I'll help you quickly. <laughs> You'll just chase it up and then I'll put this Well that's somewhere. Dion's OCD running. Okay. So this is where I'll be camping. I like to put up my tent in the shade and like to wake up in the shade.
So we had to hash out our own campsite just at the entrance section where I'm assuming where most other people would normally park and then carry in a ground tent. Um, but there was ample space for us all, so we, we ended up setting up in a bit of a, a semicircle. And again, there was actually many options for views. There was the view over the plain on the one side, which the ablutions had the view of. And then we had a view over the undulating plains on the other. Um, and we got to watch the sunset over the forest and just hearing the turacos and the luris and all of the birds going crazy at sunset. It was, it was a really beautiful evening. From rustic campsite number two to our next spot, which was Pontum and Benny, that's actually not a rustic camp, but we decided to add it in because we'd visited on our previous trip and absolutely loved it, and it's right on the beach. So we thought it would be a great balance and a great mix with the rustic campsites. 